Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So the reason I'm doing a solo reaction is because I have actually never seen Daredevil. Um, Anthony's seen it. So we're gonna be splitting up for a bit so we can both kind of explore other shows that each other have already seen um, and just kind of see how it goes from there. So what do I know about Daredevil? I know that Matt Murdock is Daredevil. I know that he was recently in the MCU um, and then I think potentially will be in the future more so. I'm not 100% sure yet. I also do know that Kingpin is in the series. I know that because of Hawkeye. However, I don't really know too much other than that. Like I think that he's a villain in this. So I'm very excited to watch the show. I'm always looking to expand my Marvel knowledge. Although I do know that this is not technically the MCU, but I feel like knowing more about the character of Daredevil will be very helpful in the future of the MCU. All right, well, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified for our future reactions. Actions. You can also see all of our full-length watch-along reactions to each individual episode on our Patreon and the links down in the description below. What's happening? Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Don't move. Help is coming. Maddie, is he talking? Is that Matt Murdock? Oh my gosh. Did he get like hit by a car or what? Oh, was there an explosion? Your boy, he pushed me out of the way. He saved my life. Oh, was he already a hero from a little baby? Oh, that's how he becomes blind. Okay, so I know that Daredevil is blind. I can't see. I can't see. Oh my gosh. It happened at such a young age. My grandmother, she was the real Catholic. Fear of God ran deep. You'd have liked her. She used to say, be careful of the Murdoch boys. They got the devil in. Oh, Daredevil? Oh. But you understand it now? Perhaps this will be easier if you tell me what you've done. There are those sunglasses that I know. I also think I know that he's a lawyer, right? Hopefully Maddie over here can come here and you know, use his dad's moves. Wow. So does he like hear his surroundings? Like how is he so aware of his surroundings? Oh my god, he just like throw it, not actually like take it. <laughs> Hopefully you <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that made me laugh. <laughs> I feel like you should have tased him. Oh my gosh. Dang. A conference room and two offices. Corner Suite has a view of the Hudson. You can flip a coin with your partner for it. Uh, he can have the view. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, I just got it. I didn't realize. <laughs> this office was barely touched by the incident. The uh, incident, is that what we're calling it now? Well, it sounds so much better than death and destruction raining from the sky, nearly wiping Hell's Kitchen off the map. Oh, is that a reference to, like, the MCU? We're never going to be able to keep the lights on, waiting on a horde of innocent souls to stumble into our loving arms. At this point, I'd settle for just one. Oh. What the heck? What? What? What is happening? Drop the knife. No. No, drop it. I didn't, I didn't do this. I didn't, I didn't do this. That's Deborah Ann Wall. I didn't do this. Now. I know her from True Blood. No, I didn't do this. I didn't do this. Oh. 
Oh, no. It kind of looks like you did it, but I I'm assuming you did it for now. Because it that seems too easy. But you are holding the knife, so, you know. Hey, buddy. Homicide. Female suspect found at the scene. Definitely qualifies as interesting. So is that going to be their client? Miss Page, can you tell me who these men are? We're her lawyers. I'm cuff our client and give us the room, please. I love when lawyers just come in and are like, lawyer. You know, like when they're just like, this, this, this. I enjoy that. I bribed the desk sergeant with a box of cigars for his mom. Our practice <laughs> is relatively young, Miss Page, and we are aggressively pursuing new clientele. You gotta stop giving best cigars. She likes to smoke, man. It's a free country. But what if she couldn't pay you? You don't have any money and we don't have any clients. Maybe we can help each other. So you're just like seven hours ago, like, I'm. let's get into it, you know? Like, no time to waste. It's hard to meet people in the city, so I asked him if he would have a drink with me. You asked him? Like I said, he was a nice guy. So who killed him? We had a few drinks, and the next thing that I remember is waking up on the floor of my apartment covered in blood. And I don't know what happened after Did you get that. drugged? I bet someone drugged her. It wasn't me. And him. Please. But why is the question? I didn't kill him. So you like hearing her heartbeat? I believe you, Miss Page. Oh. This reminds me of like uh somebody in another show that I'd seen before where he like could read like body language. It was like a sitcom type show, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. But he wasn't blind though. But he could like read like body language and stuff and tell people were like lying and stuff. Twenty-eight thousand nine hundred fifty-seven. What? Tell Rigoletto he'll get his money. I'd like to show you something. You ruined his breakfast. You see this man here? If we're being honest with each other, Mr. Farnham, I find his methods unpleasant. <sighs> but such are the times we live in. Well, that sucks for your daughter. Just, you know, getting involved. They've got the evidence. You just laid it out yourself. This is a good arrest, Bob. We should already be reading about it in the papers. There's something not right about this case. I can feel it. You can feel it. It's like his Peter Tingle, but his like... I was gonna say Devil Tingle, but that's really weird. So never mind. <laughs> if she didn't do it, who did? We're dead in the water if we don't give them an alternative. Agreed. Does it involve the guy with the money, or is that something else? She may not be guilty, Matt. That doesn't mean Miss Page is telling the truth. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> this must be like the whatever is this conspiracy is going on. Gosh. Well, can't they use that for her, you know, that she got attacked? Yeah, we'd like to speak to Mr. Farnham about that as well as what- Get in line, you'll be arraigned in the morning. Get my client released. Don't make me ask again. I'll call the ADA. Will you take that tone with me again? I don't care if you're blind. I'll kick the shit out of you. Well, he'll kick you back, so. It's crucial you don't speak to anyone other than the two of us about what happened. I don't have anyone to talk to anyway. Do you have somewhere you can stay tonight? My apartment's not far. You can't go back there. Yeah, I don't feel like you should go back. You literally almost got killed, like, probably twice at this point. Do you know who's trying to kill you? No. Do you know why they're trying to kill you? I feel like she knows more than she's saying. I was the secretary for the chief accountant. About a week ago, I was emailed a file called Pension Master. Must have been meant for my boss, but I made the mistake of opening it. 
Oh, you knew too much. It's always because they know too much. So, how did Daniel Fisher figure into this? Danny worked in the legal department. Did she go to him for, like, advice? I don't know how they knew. They must have people watching me. They must have people. Oh, or they thought she was going to. All I did was ask him for a yeah. drink. And I start to tell him no. about what I... There you go! Either you're with them or you're not. And if you're with them, then I'm dead already. And if you are not, then I cannot have anybody else die because of me. We can protect ourselves, Miss Page. No, you can't. Not from them. Miss Page, no. we can't let you go. Please, home. just... Oh, my goodness. I mean, if you walk out the door, you're probably going to try to... Like, they're going to try to kill you again, so... I'll keep you safe, Karen. I don't have much in the way of food. There's a Thai place on the corner. <gasps> Thai food? Oh my gosh, I haven't had that in so long. It's a little dark in here. I never, he doesn't uh, really need the light. <laughs> so, uh... What if the bulb was out? He would never know. And really, I can't put you out of your bedroom. I'll be just, just fine on the couch. From uh, what I understand about my living room, that might not be true. Why? Oh, oh my gosh. Well, I guess that wouldn't bother him, right? <laughs> that would be annoying, honestly. When life gives you lemons, you know? <laughs> oh, I just realized she, like, got in dress. <laughs> I guess it, that's, like, interesting. Okay, <laughs> I guess he wouldn't... Would he know? I don't know. I feel like he knows things. He probably knew. I'm the man in charge of the pension funds, and I find out one of my secretaries has discovered my illicit activity. I decide to take action. Why don't I kill you? Mm-hmm. That's my... Well, they... Yeah, they did try, but after the fact. Not the first time. Two lawyers show up out of the blue before their people can get to you. So they figure, okay, maybe Karen hangs herself in her cell and this thing gets swept under the rug. But the first time... Hmm, I don't know, that's... They're not trying to kill you, they're trying to discredit you, they're trying to scare you. And the only reason that they would do that is if you have something that they want. Does she have the file still? I've been trying to think about what that could be, and the only thing I've come up with is the Union Allied Pension File. Yeah, she still has the file! Oh my gosh. Did you keep the file, Karen? She was acting like super, super innocent, and then it's like more and more. No, I mean, she's still like, oh, do you really? Or are you lying? Your heartbeat's going fast. Believe me, part of me wishes I'd made a copy for myself, but I guess I'm just not that smart. Ah, oh, well, it's just a thought. Hmm. So does she have it? I feel like it was kind of insinuating that she might have been lying. She knew from the beginning that she knew more than she was letting on. Better than our men were attacked. Some mudak in a black mask. Heroes and their consequences are why we have our current opportunities. It's interesting how many references they're making without actually saying it. Probably because of like licensing and stuff like that, I would assume. She wants to know if this man stole the shipment for himself. No. He let the women go. He took out your men. How? Caught them by surprise. With his fists. And the taser. Every time one of these guys punches someone through a building, our margins go up 3%. We should be celebrating. This is different. My employer will be displeased. Who's your employer? This is on you. Deal with it quietly. We must be quiet, yes. We would not want another Union Allied situation, would we? The situation with Paige. Karen. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're being sneaky? I don't know. Like, I feel like she is innocent, you know, to like an extent, like she just found it, but like there's something she's hiding. Other, I mean, maybe it is just the fact that she still has the file, but like, is it though? 
who's this is her oh this is her own apartment isn't it oh my gosh i would not have done this well i guess she wants whatever it is it's gonna be the freaking file Hopefully no one's here. I feel like I'm about to get scared. <gasps> the file! But is that all it was that you still had it? I'm scared. Oh my gosh, I knew it. <laughs> uh. I bet Matt Murdock followed her. He had to have. He's gonna save her here. Yes, there he is, Daredevil! Oh my gosh! Wait, how did he land on his feet? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> After all that. Oh, goodness. Oh, what the heck? Um, that seems like you would get, like, a an injury. Like, a big injury from that. Hey, I, I don't want you to end up like your old man. I never studied. Look what it got me. I mean, he studied, but he still fights, so, you know. Por que no los dos? Oh my gosh, we did counter moves! I'm just still so like shocked and in awe how he like can move like this and see things without seeing. It's crazy. It's crazy. Better just like throw that at him, you know, end it. Oh! Oh, and she saw the whole thing. She's got to figure it out, right? Eventually. What the hell? I'll get this into the right hands. You can't take it to the police. You, you can't trust anyone. Then we tell everyone. Ooh. Go public with it. Editor. Oh, yeah, they did. Interesting. Rats was a professional. How was he subdued? I'm looking into it. <laughs> so I know it's not much in the way of repayment, but it is um, my grandmother's recipe, and she made me promise only to serve it to my future husband. You know, it's like... <laughs> what if her and him have a thing one day? I don't know. I mean, maybe. Maybe it is your future husband. We're still gonna bill you. Just <laughs> as soon as we figure out how to make bills. I did notice that you could use some help around here and I, I owe you. Oh, can she be the secretary? Is this place messy? <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you have any prior experience hiding electrical cords up in ceiling tiles? Uh, no, but uh, I'll work for free. They have like a paper sign. How cute! Oh, I'm excited. Okay. I like Paige. I was a little iffy at first, but then once I found out it was just the like file, I was like, okay. She's cool. Oh, crap. Oh my gosh, they're just like taking care of business, tying up the loose ends here. Along with copious amounts of cocaine, which is a hell of a drug. I think that's cocaine. I actually don't know. Wait, they're all blind? 
Oh my gosh! They did that to them? Should they be touching that like with their bare hands? Shouldn't they be wearing gloves? I feel like you should be wearing gloves. Even in a drug trade, you just gotta keep the hygiene, you know? You just like let him run up to you like that without reacting in the slightest? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, the kid. Not the kid. Oh. He's just like listening around. Like his hearing is very advanced. <gasps> oh, so that's who he's going to go after next. Wow, so that was very interesting. I feel like I can definitely tell what people were saying that these Marvel shows, like I think it's this one, Punisher, Jessica Jones, I think there's one more, but this like group of them are definitely a lot more gritty. Obviously they're not a part of the MCU. And at the time they were made, I don't think they were owned by Disney. I think that they have them now because I'm watching this on Disney Plus, but regardless, I feel like that's why they're a little more gritty. Like they were able to be a little more edgy with the things that they're showing here. There's a lot more fighting. We kind of see a little more violence than I feel like we you would normally expect. Just a different tone, you know? But I really enjoy it. I really like Matt Murdock. I think that his character is very interesting. Just the fact that he is blind and he became blind at such a young age, but he really developed his hearing and advanced it, um, and that's basically how he sees the world around him now, but even more so than the average person. Like, obviously he was like standing up on that rooftop, like listening out, like waiting for the next person to go save. I also like that he's actually just like a normal person. Like he doesn't really have other superpowers that I know of. I don't think he does. It's also really cool to see kind of a more grounded in reality type of hero who's able to do all the things they do while still being like a human being. Um, as much as I enjoy all the other superheroes with like powers and stuff, it's kind of like refreshing. Even though, I mean, they're doing things that obviously like the average person probably would not be able to do. Um, but just from like a show perspective, it's kind of cool to see somebody who's a little bit more like grounded in reality, you know? I also really like uh, Foggy, I thought was his name, and then Karen. I feel like seeing the three of them together is going to be fun. Seeing them work together especially, like I wonder what the show is going to be like going forward. I feel like it's going to be them like lawyering by day and then maybe like Matt Murdock like daredeviling by night. But overall I thought it was a really great first episode and I'm definitely looking forward to the rest of the series. Oh my gosh. It's Matt Murdock. So how did you get from last episode on the roof about to go to the kid to here? Okay. See. Sorry, sorry. And also who just like brings a body up into your home? Now his identity's given away. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I'll kill everyone in the hospital to get to me. Okay, you can't. Don't. You've lost a lot of blood. I think you might have been stabbed. I have to leave. Oh my gosh. You want to leave doors that way? He doesn't know where he is, yeah. <clears throat> Ugh! You're gonna need some medical attention. Easy, 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 easy with the cotton swabs there, Doc. Gotta get in there. You don't wanna get infected. Oh. Stitches. Him taking care of his own dad. Don't move. So you Dang. You really relied on your kid a lot. I want you to finish up before you go to bed. I'll do it tomorrow. Tonight. 
before school. To nine. Gosh, that was me. I would put off my homework till like the five minutes before class started. You got all this for losing? Sometimes, even when you get knocked down, you can still win. Well, that's a life that. lesson. It's how, how you, you get, get up. up. <laughs> Your eyes, they're non-responsive to light, which isn't freaking you the hell out. So either you're blind or in way worse shape than I thought. Do you mind telling me how blind man in a mask ends up beaten half to death in my dumpster? Well, that's what I want to know, too. Why are you helping me? Yeah, the less you know about me, the better. <laughs> Huh, so what's up with you? You got some dirt. Thank you, Claire. Make sure you're stabilized. We'll figure the other stuff out later. Is this like the actual reason he doesn't like going to hospitals? It's me. It's that. I'm right here. Oh. I, I, I can't see. You were in an accident. You remember? You're in the hospital. I'm right here with you. I don't think so. Oh, poor thing. What's wrong? Does he have panic attacks about it still? You've got air in your chest? Oh no, he just has air in his chest. Are you gonna do a trach? Probably not a trach. I learned trach on Grey's Anatomy. Go. This is gonna hurt. Oh, oh my gosh. I tracked the Russians to a warehouse not far from here. Thought I was being smart how fast I found them. Was it a setup? Turns out I wasn't. <sighs> well, they knew you were following them. Not really a setup. And I walked right into it. So they took this kid just to get to you? Yeah, I've been making that. Oh, it was a setup? Even the kid part? Oh my gosh. So these men that took the boy. They're out there right now, looking for you. Does he hear something? Mike? Someone's coming. <gasps> Wait, what? There's someone in the building. A man, going from door to door. How, how do you know that? He's on the third floor. What is, like, his hearing radius? Green cigarettes and discount cologne. You can smell a you, man on the floor? Oh my floor? goodness, he can smell I'm it too? Soon enough. He really likes that cologne. <laughs> so he has like a hearing, like enhanced hearing and smell. Right about the wee one. That's a tough break. You have our condolences. And you're young yet. Plenty of time to have more kids. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? We come bearing glad tidings. A match with Creel. 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 How, how'd you pull that off? Mr. Sweeney. Victor Creel? Vecna? You drop in the fifth. We're clearing 70%. Right. I'm Jackie. It's time to celebrate. Oh, so he could hear it all at a young age, like hear far. I'm gonna take a pass. Oh, oh, oh. Did he just say pass? I appreciate everything you've done for me. Really, I do. I got other things to worry about. I respect that he really cares about his son. Man makes his choice, and we make ours. You want to step into the ring, see how that plays out? And he's just trying his best. All right. We need to hear you say it. I go down in the fifth. Oh. Lies. I'll be right there. This is why it's typically advisable to call 911 when you find somebody like almost dead in a dumpster, not bring them into your home, you know, just in case. What kind of disturbance? Armed robbery. Some dickhead in a black mask shot up a bodega on 38th. Owner put up a fight. Don't listen to him. Probably long gone by now, but just in case, you know, you see anything, hear anything tonight? No. You have a good night, ma'am. Thanks. You too. Sometimes I wonder how I would act in a situation like that. Would I be, like, a good liar or would I, like, give it away? I don't know, and I hope I never know. 
Where were you right about that cologne? Does he dip himself in that crap? He <coughs> didn't believe you. Oh. Did you know from the heartbeat? Oh my god. Oh, is he gonna like shoot it at him? Or drop it? Oh. oh my gosh. I feel like that could kill someone from that high up. I feel like that killed him. What do you know? Someone else. I'm for a project. Gosh. It's like you can't get rid of them. Aww. Claire, go upstairs and get up. We're gonna need help carrying Detective Foster to the roof. The hell are we going to the roof for? Last chance of someone in the building hearing him scream. Oh, so he's not dead. There's something in there? What? Well, ew, what? I think that's an eel. <laughs> oh, gross. Really? Let's get to the bottom and find out. Is it like the worm in the tequila? You know the worm in the tequila when apparently if you like eat it, it like makes you trip out or something? I can't get Danny's blood out of the carpet. It's like somebody spilled a wine bottle and it just won't come. Have you tried peroxide? I've heard peroxide is great for blood. Just saying. <laughs> If that guy in the mask hadn't, hadn't have been there. My cousin does drywall. I'll call him first thing in the morning. Aww. Foggy is such a good dude. I found a man who needed help, so I helped him. Oh, yeah? That simple? Do you really want to get into this in front of him? He's out. Maybe he's faking. He's not. I mean, he got hit in the head with, like, a fire extinguisher, so... Hey, I find a guy in a dumpster who turns out to be some kind of blind vigilante who can do all this really weird shit. <laughs> like smell cologne through walls and sense whether someone's unconscious or faking it. Slap on top of that, he can take an unbelievable amount of punishment without one damn complaint. He had a rough childhood. A few weeks ago, cops bring in three men. Said they were robbing tourists, beating them up pretty bad. Apparently, a man in a black mask took issue with their activities and decided to step in. Mm -hmm. A few days after that, EMTs bring in a 19-year-old waitress said some guy she knew waited for her after work in the parking lot attacked her. She said she screamed and screamed, and a man in a black mask heard her. So were you trying to find out who he was, or...? So yeah, word's getting around, and I want to believe in what you're doing. I really do. But this...? I know you're afraid. No offense, Claire, but you don't know the full story yet. It's red. It's really red. Are you not into red? Can I? Is that gonna be like the daredevil suit? Like the... Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> that was like so wrong. <laughs> I heard red and I know his suit's kind of red-ish, I think. Good thing about red. Can't tell how much you're bleeding. <gasps> okay, well maybe There's that's why he chooses red, red later in life. You get hit a lot. I know he's gonna upgrade his suit at some point. Guess we do. We get up. Right, Dad? We always get up. Mm -hmm. You still gonna throw the fight? Oh my gosh, I feel like he's gonna not throw the fight and then like something bad's gonna happen to him. Oh no. I'm getting nervous now. You're gonna take the money down to Lloyd Wagner. Get in deposit into account number 004-8256882. Account's in your name? No, no, none under my name. It's gonna be for his son. Oh. Ah, this feels weird, like ominous. Don't worry about me. I got it covered. If he calls Matt, it's gonna be like he's saying goodbye and I'm freaking out inside. I, I don't know how this is gonna go, but if I were a betting man, Maddie's gonna need you. Oh my gosh, he knew it too! Look after him, okay? He's, he's a good kid. He sure as hell didn't get that from me. It's better this way. 
Just once. Gosh, was there not like anything else we could do? Like anything at all? Okay. We got what? Two hours to kill. <laughs> Maybe there'll be a thing. I don't know though. I can't tell. No, you don't have to do this, Foggy. Do Part of me feels like not. Lived until you've argued with the 90 year old Okinawa's like it feels a little friend zone -y, but like maybe not at the same time. Men are waiting in the dark corners of this oh. world to prey on us. The valiant, the kind hearted. <laughs> we must band together. We must never sleep. <laughs> we must remain vigilant here in the lights of Hell's Kitchen. You're not vigilant about your business partner. Not that it's their job to be, but you know, they didn't even like think anything of it that he wasn't home in the middle of the night. Where's the boy? He's dead. Oh my gosh. <coughs> also, can I just say I freaking love Daredevil. So excited. Such a cool character. Why did you take him? Figured you'd come running. And after I was dead. Sell the kid. Like all the others. <coughs> oh. Don't push it, Maddie. Keep hitting. Let's see who drops first. Try stabbing Mr. Gem in the dark. Ooh, yeah. Where is it? Medical advice. <laughs> That's a super orbital foramen. You want to go right under there. This is why you should always have a medical professional's opinion. Oh my gosh, is he gonna hang him off? <laughs> oh my goodness. He's crazy and I love it. Crazy in the good way. It's not just the boy. I'm doing this because I enjoy it. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> he might be becoming one of my favorite Marvel heroes, honestly. I'm obsessed. <laughs> He'll be waiting for you. If you're lucky, they'll kill you before they start in on the boy. It'd be a shame for you to have to watch what they do to mm. No! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I stand by what I said earlier. Obsessed. He'll live. <laughs> okay. So many people keep living, falling into dumpsters, falling off roofs. Is that a common thing in this show? Thank you, Claire. <clears throat> so is Claire like officially part of the squad now? Oh, and he was watch. Oh my gosh. Um, he won, but like, it's gonna be really bad. Oh, he needs to rush out of the- oh, he's not gonna make it. He's not gonna freaking make it. Screw taking the stuff off, just dip. Like, run out the building. Oh my gosh. I freaking knew it. Oh, hang on there, Tom. What's the hurry? Oh. Because my dad. Jesus, Ray, the kid's blind. Hey, wait. Oh, no. Poor little baby Maddie. Daddy. Daddy. He went through so much, and this is why he is the way he is. Oh, it's so sad, because his dad was just trying to help him, and it just... Oh, my gosh. I want to go. I want my daddy. Oh, that's the boy. Is this going to be him? Yay! Save the ch child and the women!
<laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> oh gosh! These fight scenes in the show are really good. Dang, and you're still injured. Gosh, it was like a clown car of Russians. Ugh, they keep coming! Literally, so many. Oh my goodness. Dang, this one won't go down. Oh my god, he like literally won't go down. He was like the final boss. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> wow. Another really good episode! I mean, even though I've only seen like two, but it was good! So I'm really liking this show. I'm so interested in Matt Murdock. I love his character. I said it during the episode, but he might be becoming one of my favorite Marvel heroes. Ugh, so good. I just, ah, I like, like, kind of like a, like a gritty hero. Yeah, I mean, he's not really an anti-hero. I feel like he is a hero. He's more of a vigilante type hero. But, like, someone you can see kind of had, like, a rough past, and you can see why they are the way they are. Maybe they're a little more gritty about it. I love a character like that, and he's exactly that kind of character. We also got introduced to Claire this episode. I feel like Matt's probably going to end up going to her later on when he needs, like, to be stitch up, stitched up in the future. Probably after this as well. But I can also foresee it happening in the future of the show, too. Like, she's just the one he goes to because he doesn't want to go to the hospital. We also saw the unfortunate death of his father. That was such a sad moment. I mean, he, I guess, really wanted to get the money for him and he did it in the only way he knew how. I wish that there was another solution that he could have done that he could have lived because, like, I feel like as much as the money helped him, I feel like he needed his father too. So I don't know if, like, there was something else he could have done. Um, but I guess he was just doing the best he could, uh, in the way that he was able to help you know, immediately, but it's just really, really sad that, like, they killed him for that, and it just sucks, and it sucks for little baby Matt, too, growing up without his dad. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this episode with me, and if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified for our future videos, and also you can watch our full-length watch-along reactions over on Patreon. The link's down in the description below. All right, I'll see you in the next one.